Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to reverse a string as part of this basic algorithm script scripting. Uh, we want to reverse the provided string. You may need to turn the string into an array before you can reverse it. Your result must be a string. Remember to use read search asks if you get stuck and uh, write your own code. Um, I'm pretty sure, look, let's console log here. So if we were to reverse hello, what we would want, the result should be O-L-L-E-H. Now, I'm pretty sure you can go string.reverse. Okay, maybe you have to go string.split.reverse.join. Okay, got it. Okay, so I think that this would actually pass the test. So what we did here is we took the string. Uh, let's try to do it like this. Okay, so let's first, um, this is one way to do it. Um, there's multiple ways to do it. Now, we haven't seen any of these, these ideas, these functions. Uh, I think we've done split and join. I'm not sure if we've done reverse. So um, I'm going to make it more dumb. This is, this is an easy way to pass the test quickly. Um, it doesn't really talk about how algorithm scripting, so let's do that a little bit. So let's start off by creating a result variable, which is equal to, let's just call it an empty string. Now, another way that we could do this is we could take the string and then just count backwards. So we could say for, um, we let i equal zero, no, i equals string dot length, uh, minus one. So now i is equal to zero, one, two, three, four. It's equal to three. And then we could be um, i is great. Well, i is um, greater than or equal to zero, and i, and then we decrement i. And then we take the result, and we add the string at position of i. And then we return result. Okay, so what we've done here is we've created a loop in which we count at the beginning, we start at the end of the string, so we start at o, um, like the string at position, we're going string dot length minus one. So the string dot length is one, two, three, four, five. The string length is five, and we say string dot length minus one, so this is four. i becomes equal to four. So string at position four is equal to the position of zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. Cool. And so we add to the result the, the O. And then we come back around. I becomes, we lose one from I, so it goes from four to three. Three is still greater than or equal to zero. And so we add to the result the string at position three. Zero, one, two, three, L. And we keep going like that until we have O-L-L-E-H. So this is the way to do it with a loop. And the previous way I did it with just, um, uh, just with just doing, a, breaking the string into an array and then hitting the uh, reverse. And I'm pretty sure that this one still works. So yeah, there's two ways to do that. Um, this way is the loop. This is going to, um, yeah, it doesn't use built-in array objects, so. Um, but yeah, this is basically the idea here, is we can just take a string and reverse it by adding it onto the end. Um, there's probably some other ways to do this. Uh, this is a fairly basic one, so I think we just keep moving on. I hope that that makes sense. Uh, please let me know if there's something I can do to make this more clear. But we run the tests and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.